Hey there friends, this is Philip from PGH Woodcraft coming to you from inside Ancient City Craftworks. Today I'm going to talk to you about four of the cheapest tools on Amazon that I purchased when I was getting started in my handcraft woodworking and whether or not I regret making those purchases. So let's jump right in. I'm going to do this in the order that I purchased them, not in the order of quality or how they worked out for me. So the first thing I bought was this vintage style brace. Um, this was uh, around $15 on, on Amazon and I got it and immediately noticed that the mechanism here was a little bit clunky. It's rough in there. It doesn't feel like it's been ground down properly, uh, but it worked one time. Uh, after that, then I just was not able to get enough of a, a bite here. And every time I turned the bit or, or tried using it, the bit would just spin in there. So this particular one, a complete waste of money. And one of the reasons I say that is I bought this vintage brace at an antique store and paid within pennies within pennies, the same price. Um, this one was a little over $15. This one was exactly $15. I, I don't know what brand this is. A lot of different companies made these and, and put these out. But this thing, uh, even though it looks rough, it works flawlessly. I get an excellent grip on here. Uh, the mechanism works to, to reverse. Um, all the joints are and, and bearings are smooth, so terrible purchase. This is actually uh, the one I should have gone with. The next thing I bought was this spoke shave. I needed a spoke shave to do some, some curved work on a charcuterie board that I was working on. Uh, it was my first charcuterie board. I needed to do some curves. I had never used a spoke shave before, um, saw a couple of videos, and uh, so I thought I'd give it a, sh a shot. Uh, this was the cheapest spoke shave on Amazon. Uh, again, I don't know what the brand name is. It came with five replacement blades. Um, you know, the thing is okay. Um, the, the adjustment mechanism is a little clunky, um, and it, it doesn't really stay in adjustment uh, very well. But if you look at it, um, and this is a piece of oak that I have here. Raise this up a little bit so then you can see it better. Okay. It actually does a pretty good job rounding off corners. Okay. Needed to get, uh, needed to sharpen it when they when they came in, uh, but the blades do work, and uh, so I, I'm actually pleased with this this purchase right here. Uh, I'm still I'm looking for a vintage version of this, probably an old Stanley. Um, once I can find one that that I think is a reasonable price, uh, and that'll up my game a little bit. But purchase number two, I'm actually quite pleased with it. Cheap spoke shave off of Amazon. All right, purchase number three. Um, carbide marking gauge. Uh, the, the marking gauge itself works okay. It has the, the brass top here. Uh, this is a plastic uh, handle. Uh, it locks down and holds okay. Uh, the problem is that the cutters that came with it were absolutely so dull, they, it, they won't put hardly any indent in the wood. So uh, not happy with the, the cutters themselves. There are also, also graduation marks on here so you can measure, but they are so faint that it does me no good at all. So anyway, I have to... Uh, physically measure or put it up against there. Um, gonna try and see if I can get some some cutters, different cutters in here that might work better. But out of the box, this thing, no good. 
would, wouldn't work for me at all. The, the, the cheap Amazon purchase that I'm probably most pleased with is this number four style hand plane. Uh, this is marketed by a company called Spear and Jackson. This plane uh, was actually made in India and just branded for Spear and Jackson. Uh, when I watch some, some videos online, um, I get mixed, I, there's mixed reviews out there. So uh, I, maybe I just got lucky and, and ended up getting a, a good one. But this one, uh, the bed was surprisingly flat. The sides were um, perpendicular to, to the, the sole the, uh, and flat. The blade came relatively sharp. Um, and, and I could actually use this out of the box and start getting some, some good shavings. Uh, once I honed the blade up, it, it actually worked a lot better. And this is now my, this is my everyday go-to plane and works extremely well. Paid about $30 for it. So to wrap it up, brace, just go to the antique store. Get you a, uh, a vintage one. These things are all over the place. You can pick them up anywhere from $5 to $15. Most of them work extremely well. Spoke shave, good job for me. Uh, but I am looking for a vintage one. I'm going to up, up my games there. Marking gauge, a lot of different options out there. This one, I, I wouldn't waste the money on. Okay. So that wraps it up for these four bargain tools that I got off of Amazon. I hope this helped. Until next time, take care. God bless.